happy holidays to you. I'm here with the St. Benedict's Catholic Church fundraiser. And what are we raising funds for? Well, I'll tell you something very important. Located next door to this building we're standing in, right in front of the church, is the old St. Benedict School where the nuns were arrested for teaching black children. At one time in this United States, it was illegal for white teachers to teach black children. But these nuns were working in a private parochial school, so the law didn't apply, so that prosecution did not stick. But it's an incredible story. Right across the street from here is the St. Paul AME Church, where in the 1963 and 64, the St. Augustine Civil Rights hosted Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who came and spoke here and was arrested and put in the St. John's County Jail. The civil rights history of St. Augustine is amazing, and St. Benedict the Moor Church is a central part in that whole play. There are parishioners here that marched in those civil rights uh, demonstrations and were part of the movement that according to Ambassador Andrew Young, who is very uh, instrumental also in St. Augustine's civil rights history, St. Augustine's movement led to the passage of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. He says that the images from St. Augustine when he was here and that the arrest of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. broke the filibuster in Congress by the Southern Senators. At that time and when these images went out over the AP wire and all throughout the United States and internationally, that that filibuster shamed the, 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 those images shamed the filibuster of those southern senators such that they broke their filibuster and allowed it to come to a vote. In the words of Lyndon Johnson, he said, I've got to have a vote on this. This stuff that's going on is just too embarrassing for the nation as a whole. And it really was. We had the first time Andrew Young was ever beaten was in, in St. Augustine down at the corner of the Plaza de la Constitution. We've named that intersection Andrew Young Crossing in his honor and put in a monument to his footsteps, which you'll see in our plaza. It's all part of the same milieu. And the good part is that every day someone is working to change that image, to move that story along so that we don't forget and we don't repeat. And raising funds here at St. Benedict the Moor for the renovation of that school that, uh, where those nuns were arrested, it's just part of the whole story. And we're glad you're here.